Hey guys, so in the middle of working on the workbench and everything, the uh, diesel engine came in I was talking about. Uh, so you notice the workbench is not complete. Like I said, these videos may be out of order, so I apologize for anything like that. Uh, I just want to go ahead and unbox it, and it'll be running in this video too. We're going to start with an unboxing. So if the workbench looks different towards the end, then that's that, uh, the reason for that. So uh, just bear with me guys, I'm trying to get too many things going. So let me put it down on the floor and we'll unbox it and uh, check this thing out because I'm kind of concerned about something first. Let's look at it. Uh, box has a, a hole in it here and over here. You can actually uh, reach in and turn the nut that uh, looks appears to be holding the valve cover on. So I'm hoping there, the valve cover moves. So hopefully there's nothing broke. Uh, if there is, we'll have to send it back and get another one. But the chance you got to take, you think they would have packaged it better? But they bulk packed it because it is made in China. Actually got pretty heavy duty uh, rocker arms. I never seen one quite made like that. I like it. Now let's get the valve cover back on without messing up the gasket. I'm glad that gasket's not messed up. I don't like the valve cover already, but it is what it is. What are you gonna do about it? It is made in China. Not get it down. I don't know what the torque specs are or anything. Uh, the color is interesting. It's like a flat red. It's not something you see all the time. The standard gas cap, diesel cap in this case. So here's the uh, model number of it. It's a 196 cc engine, 168 168F diesel engine. It says 3.0. I'm assuming it's going to be the, the horsepower, but I'm not 100% sure. And the throttle setup is similar to the, the bigger one, and you'll have to bleed the injector and everything. We'll go through that here in a little bit. I just wanted to unbox it make sure nothing was broke on it. Uh, in mind, it, it, uh, just remember it does ship with no oil on it, so you got to keep that in mind. Set the compression release. You want compression? It's got some serious compression, just like the other one. So we'll have to probably have to mount it on something in order to uh, start. I just wanted to do that just to make sure it does turn over. Okay, so like I said, this video is kind of jumping around. In time with the uh, workbench here, you see the workbench is about midway completed at this point of the video. I just wanted to unbox it before, just make sure everything's all right. I haven't done anything with it except for letting it sit and get some dust on it. So we're going to put some oil in it and some diesel and uh, bleed the injector and get it mounted on the engine test stand, and we're going to see what happens. I like how it's got a dual uh, bolt pattern on it. That could be uh, really handy later on. It's got that on both sides. So here's the injector pump right here. And uh, I like the exhaust, the muffler on it. You can actually take this wing nut loose and you can you know, spin them, point the exhaust anywhere you need to. I've never seen a muffler that you can take apart like this. And it has been tested before, as you can see. So it has ran at some point in its life. Uh, yeah, that's that. You notice there's a vent right here. 
to exhaust the crankcase gases to vent out. So I'm going to set this over like this. And here's the uh, fuel injector here coming off the high pressure fuel line. It's bolted down here. And the compression lease, as I mentioned before. But yeah, I don't know if that means three horsepower. It was advertised as 6.5, which is, you know, it's about the same size as the uh, Predator 212. I'm starting to get some stuff moved in, too. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I wanted to show you the throttle on this. It would be full throttle. You can actually tune the high end like it's going to be used on a generator. Uh, and this would also be how you would kill it. Like take it all the way to the top to shut the fuel off to it. And if for some reason it won't shut off like that, uh, the emergency shut off would be the compression release. It, you know, you don't want to shut one off all the time like this, but an emergency or just, you know, if you just started up and you need to shut down real quick, you know, that's fine to do. It's not going to hurt anything. So let's get some oil in it and get it mounted and get the injector bled. So this is the type of oil I'm putting in. It is diesel engine oil, 15W40. Uh, the engine calls for 0.7 liters of oil. That comes out to 700 milliliters. So this is 500, 600, 700. So we're going to measure it out because I don't want to get too much in it or not enough. Either way, it's not good on any engine. So we're going to measure this out. Get 500. 600 and 700. It just takes the guesswork out of stuff. I've shown it on the high mark, so that's you know, what's supposed to be in it, so that's what we're going to go with. This is diesel, just regular on road diesel. I don't have my diesel can here yet, so that's why I've got diesel on a gas can, something you don't want to do. Almost totally held a whole gallon. So you really gotta work the work it to get that wrench in there. You just wanna loosen this. Alright. So now what you wanna do, there's no chance of the engine actually starting like this. You wanna set your throttle to full throttle and clamp down the that red knob. So now you gotta hold the compression release and start cranking it over until you see the fuel start coming out of the, that line there. And once you see it, you just want to do it like one more time just to make sure. And that should be all the air out of it. You want to get this tight again. You pay attention to how tight it was before. That's pretty snug, so we should be able to keep an eye out for any leaks on it. So now let's get it mounted on the stand and should be ready to start. Okay guys, it's mounted. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just start like this. This thing's got so much compression. It's going to, if it did hit though, I seen it smoke. Alright guys, so we got a runner. That seems to be running pretty good. Plans for this engine. 
I got several things in mind. The first thing that crossed my mind was putting it on the mini bike just to see what would happen, <laughs> see how much uh, I can get out of it and to change the gearing a little bit on the mini bike. Another little project I want to do later on is build a, another test stand but have like some type of braking system on it just so I can put a load on engines so we can compare the torque and the like the overall power to a gas engine of a similar size and uh, so yeah that's going to be uh, something else I'm going to try to do and I kind of want to make like a, a belt drive or chain drive generator out of it too just to see what see how it acts like that you know and uh, I got several ideas for it but that's the the main thing that come in mind I just one main reason I bought it uh, was just you know it popped up on eBay there happen to be some sellers right now and I just wanted to kind of grab one while I could because apparently the smaller diesels are less common than like that big 10 horsepower I put on that tractor so and of course we'll be back on regular gas small engines as well I got several engines to rebuild and other things to do and also get some new tools in there's gonna be a tool video popping up eventually um, I've been asked a lot about the small engine uh, compression like what, how much compression small engines are supposed to have. So I bought a test kit so we can get some numbers on that, compare it to a new engine, like compare it to like a newer engine and some other stuff as well. But, but yeah, you'll definitely see this again. It might be a little while before you see it, so just bear with me on that, but it will be on another video. I just wanted to get it run and make sure everything is all right with it in case I had to send it back or something, but it's a runner, so... Well, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. So if y'all got any ideas or suggestions for this engine or anything you want to see, uh, you know, put a comment below, and I'll you know, I'll consider anything if it's uh, reasonable. But, but, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you later.